Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today's session is on Kix interview questions. Please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the like button. And don't forget to share this video because we need your support to grow our channel. Let's get started with introduction to Kix. The term CICS or Kix stands for Customer Information Control System. It is a general purpose transaction processing subsystem for the ZOS. The CICS has evolved over the years since it was first introduced in 1968. At that time, it ran only on IBM mainframes and in a limited capacity. Today, CICS can be used on a variety of platforms and with several different programming languages. And with the introduction of IBM CICS Transaction Server, Kix became the premier server for Internet applications. Kix is a world-class transaction processing system. As such, it can handle billions, yes, billions, of online transactions every day for banks, airlines, insurance companies, hospitals, e-business sites. Kix process more than 1.1 million transactions per second, that's 100 billion transactions in a day. CICS is probably the most successful piece of software of all time. It is the backbone of business computing throughout the world. Millions of users unknowingly activate Kicks every day. Now, let's get started with top 20 Kicks interview questions. What are the common control tables used in CICS? The following tables are commonly used. Program control table, PCT. It defines each transaction, containing a list of valid transaction identifiers, that is, TransID, where each transaction is paired with its matching program. Program Processing Table, PPT. It contains a list of valid program names and maps, and whether a current version is in the CICS region or needs to be brought in as a new copy. File Control Table, FCT. It contains a list of files known to KICS, the dataset name and status, that is, closed or open, enabled or disabled. Terminal Control Table, TCT, a list of the terminals known to KICS. What tables must be updated when you are required to add a new transaction and program? Well, at a bare minimum the Program Control Table, PCT, and Program Processing Table, PPT, must be updated. What is the significance of sync point command? The sync point command ends a logical unit of work and causes a sync point to occur. A sync point command finalizes the updates to protected resources so they aren't backed out if an event occurs. You can use the rollback option of the sync point command to reverse any changes made to that point in a logical unit of work. Remember, if you omit the sync point command, a sync point occurs when the task ends. What do the terms locality of reference and working set mean? These terms refer to Kik's efficiency techniques. Locality of reference required that the application program should consistently reference instructions and data within a relatively small number of pages. However, the working set is the number of program pages needed by a task. What is the significance of map only and data only options? In the send map command, Map only option sends only constant data from the physical map, so you don't have to code the from option. In the second case, only the data in the symbolic map is sent. Data only option sends only data from the from area. So no constant data from the physical map is sent. Remember, if neither option is specified, both the constant data in the physical map and the data in the from area are sent. What is the CECI in Kicks? CECI is the command level interpreter. You can use it to issue Kicks commands from outside a program. You might want to use it to issue a send map command to test a map before you've written the program that will process it. You might also use it to update the contents of a file so you don't have to write a special purpose program to do that. What is EDF? EDF is the Execution Diagnostic Facility. It is an online debugging tool that lets you trace the progress of a CICS program as it executes. What is CEBR? 
CEBR lets you browse the contents of a specific temporary storage queue. What is a logical message in CICS? A logical message is a single unit of output created by send text or send map commands. BMS collects the separate output from each command and treats them as one entity. This technique may be used to build CICS reports. What are the CICS commands associated with temporary storage queue processing? The following commands are used for temporary storage queue processing, write QTS, read QTS, and delete QTS. What are the KICS commands associated with transient data queue processing? The following commands are used for transient data queue processing. Write QTD. Write data to transient data queue. Read QTD. Read data from the transient data queue. Delete QTD. Delete all transient data. ENQ and DEQ command is used to reserve a queue for exclusive use so that other tasks can't access it at the same time. What is the meaning of the ENQ and DEQ commands? The ENQ command reserves any user-defined resource for the specific task. For enqueued transient data, no other task will be able to write records to it for as long as it is enqueued. The DEQ command removes the lock. What is static cursor positioning? Whenever you issue a send map command, you should make sure that the cursor is positioned properly. By default, CICS places the cursor in the top left corner of the screen. But if you code IC parameter in the map field, defined by using DFH, MDF macro, then the cursor will be positioned in that field. This method of cursor positioning is called static cursor positioning. Remember, if you specify IC for more than one map field, CICS positions the cursor in the last one on the screen. What CICS command would you use to read a vSAM KSDS sequentially in ascending order? Read next command reads the next record from a browse operation for any of the three vSAM files. How do you get data from a task that began with a start command? The retrieve command is used to get data from a task that began with a start command. What is interval control, and what are some of the CICS commands associated with it? CICS interval control provides a variety of time-related features, such as Ask time command Request current date and time of day Format time command Transform absolute date and time into a specified format Start command Start a task at a specified time Retrieve command. Retrieve data stored for a task. Cancel command. Cancel interval control requests. What is task control, and what are the CICS commands associated with it? Task control refers to the KICS functions that manage the execution of tasks. Task control commands are Suspend ENQ and DEQ what is the abend command, and when would you use it? The abend command forces a task to end abnormally. It creates a transaction dump and invokes the dynamic transaction backout. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share your feedback and hit like button. Please do visit our channel for more such tutorial videos on COBOL, KIX, JCL, vSAM, IBM Mainframe, and Microsoft Azure.